Goblin King, the time has come to invade Ponyville and Canterlot. We are going to help you find an old friend of yours. Good, General Creeper. Prepare the army. We shall get going right away. As you wish, Your Majesty. All right, we get to do this, Susie. Yeah, Gary. <laughs> this is gonna be great, Luminous. We get to go to Ponyville and attack, then to Canterlot. And we get to find my friend and he's going to help me kill the monster that killed my parents. Now, let's go to Ponyville. <sighs> So, Roxy got broken. We were in the forest when it was on fire, fighting the Gigantosaurus, and he broke her. She couldn't be able to see. <sighs> Why is everybody here? Even though that everyone it just heard about what happened to that wolf animatronic? Well... I brought her here, Ka. Besides, she is a friend. She is our friend. Well, it wasn't my fault that she got hurt. Well, I gave the letter to Derby so she delivered it to the new plush toys and they're coming here to visit and Tex is gonna have to fix Roxy. Look, I don't know if it's a good idea. What if they don't? What if Tex doesn't help? And what if Brendan can't get along with us? Look, we helped him and the new plush toy stop those villains from trying to get them. And us too. Well, me and Joel got married. Besides, she's pregnant. And you're gonna have a baby. Maybe so, or maybe three. Look, the point is, Roxy needs to be fixed. We can't leave her like, well, looking scary. Yeah, she looks awful. <laughs> oh, would somebody please make her stop crying? I don't like it. Hmm. Well, what are we going to do? We just have to wait until the new plush toys are here and Tex can help. Maybe I'll talk to Roxy again. Huh? Huh? What? Batman, what are you doing here? What is going on here? Well, our friend Roxy is broken. It's a long story. What's going on? Come with me, Spike. There's something I need to tell you. Okay. I felt bad for Roxy. Me too. You think she's gonna be okay? Well, how can she still be moving when her eyes are off? She's an animatronic. That's what it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you want to tell me about? Look, we're still waiting until the new plush toys arrive and just so Tex could fix Roxy. Well, that's not the only problem. It's Bruce Wayne and I'm afraid he's passed away. What? He died? I'm sorry, Spike. Oh no. What would you do now without him? 
Everybody gets old. That's what life is. I had to leave Ace to Barbara Gordon just so I had to tell you what really happened. I'm sorry about Bruce, Terry. He was a good Batman. Well, you are a good one. <gasps> Maybe you could join me and my friends, even though that we're going to help Roxy. Maybe so, since there's no crime in Gotham yet. They're here. Ponyville. It's been years since we haven't been in this village. Hey guys. Hey Lenny. So, you want me to help fix your friend? Yeah, Roxy is badly hurt. Yeah, we were fighting the Gaikonotosaurus in the fire. The fire? Yeah, a wildfire last night. So we asked Tex here to help. Where is she? In there. Whoa. Uh, who's there? Whoa. Take it easy, Roxanne. It's Tex. I'm here to help. Tex. Just sit down, okay? I'll see what I can do to fix you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Jeez, you look terrible. Oh. But don't worry. I'll work on it right away. Hey, Jacob, you got a baby? Yeah, Rainbow was pregnant. Aww, how cute. Can we see him? Sure. And Brendan, don't try anything bad. Hey, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Aw, look at that. Whoa. Look at those eyes. I know. They're different color eyes like mine and Rainbow's. Yep. Aw. Well, congratulations. Wait a second, is that Batman right there? Yeah, what about him? He just came here to tell me something bad happened. Well, you don't really want to know. What? What happened? Never mind that, okay? I just hope that Roxy is better and fixed. Hey, Brendan. Sparlight Sadie. Hey. 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 Wait. Huh? There's two of you. Wait. Who is that baby dragon next to you, Spike? He's Spoon. Well, he is my new... Dragon assistant while Spike was gone. And so were you. Oh. Huh? Princess Celestia and Luna. What's going on, Mom? Well, there are goblins coming. Goblins? What goblins? You don't mean demo goblin, but you mean goblins? Well, there are the army of goblins coming to invade. That would be a problem. But we're all here and we can defend your village. Yeah, everybody is here. We can defend Ponyville and take down those nasty goblins. What? Whoa. Hey, just take it easy, Panda.
Well, we all can fight those goblins while Tex fixes Roxy. Wait, do you hear that? Whoa, what was that? Huh? What the? Huh? A glider? Huh? Who's riding on it? Huh? Hey, get away from our kids. Huh? Ah, now it's the time to attack Ponyville. Wait. Spike, there you are. I have been looking for you. Huh? What? Do you know that thing? Spike, don't you recognize me? I'm your friend. <gasps> Harry Edward? That's right. I don't understand, but how did you... You look different, and you're the king? And you have a sword, and you have a glider? That's right. And this is my pet, Luminous, the barn owl. But how did you end up like this? Well, we'd also like to know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm getting confused. Oh, I don't want to hear a story, though. Well, it's time to attack. Wait. As I'm the king, allow me to speak. Okay, fine. You got six minutes. You see, I had a happy life with my parents. Their names were John and Martha. My father gave me a coat. So I ran out in the woods. And I met you. And I heard a story about you. That you had lived in your dimension with the original plush toys and you had a girlfriend like Starlight Glimmer. Like that one I am looking at. But that one is your girlfriend here. But... Your Starlight broke up with you because of Brendan Boyd. Oh, and you. You've given Spike all the trouble, I heard. I don't know what you're talking about. I know that you're the new Spider-Man. Spike figured it out. Until he got arrested and it was all your fault. <laughs> my fault, yes. Spike is my friend and you're gonna regret it. Anyways. I am your fan, Spike. You and I took a picture, look at it. So that is you with, with him as he was a kid? Well, how did you end up like that? Okay, just let me continue. You promised that we would be best friends. Well, that night, I lost everything because of that hybrid dinosaur. What hybrid dinosaur? It was black and it was dangerous. It had red eyes and its tail was, well, filled with some spikes. They were trying to protect me. I couldn't save them. They said they would be there, but... But they didn't make it. I was alone in the woods. I had no home, and neither did Luminous. He had no parents, neither. So I found him, and I had to keep him. We had been trying to find you, but... We didn't know where Equestria was. We had been going in circles. Until then, we found a goblin castle. 
but we were caught and got arrested and we met General Creeper and I throw them in the dungeon. We've also met Gary and Susie. Gary was good with some act. You bet I was. <laughs> uh, uh. And Susie is a good friend too. I am a gorgeous goblin, aren't I? You look kinda gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Blech. Well, there was a problem. A big hydrant with multiple heads when they would grow when one head got cut off. Hydra? Yeah, Hydra. It was huge and I was scared of it and I ran, even though I was trying to quit my job. You also messed up, like, leading it to the castle. It attacked our castle. Well, thanks to me, we fought it and defeated them. Even with multiple heads, though. Well, I always loved Susie, though. We were... We were kissing. Oh, love in the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, goblin love. After stopping the Hydra, I wore the suit and I drank the goblin potion. It was poison. So I became a goblin and I'm now the Goblin King. And so here we are, going to invade Ponyville and then to Canterlot. Even though I wanted to find you so you could help me kill that dinosaur monster. Are you insane? You can't do that. Why not? You wouldn't bring your parents back. Besides, there was two of the Scorpius Rexes and they're both dead. You weren't there, Harry. We were at Wu's lab to fight those two monsters. And that lab was destroyed along with them. And even though that we were on an adventure with Jack Sparrow and I got back to my dimension bringing the new plush toys with, helping Luigi and everyone else free everyone from Ennard and the Sinister Six, and got back here. Look, Tex is trying to fix Roxy. You can't invade Ponyville. It's not the right thing to do. Yeah. It won't make you feel better, like bringing your parents back. Please, Harry. I'm your friend. You don't have to be like this. You don't have to invade. I'm sorry, Spike. But if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Goblins, attack! Ah! 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 Huh? What the? Uh, that can't be good. What? What's happening, Tex? Are we under attack? Just don't worry. Everything's gonna be under control. Ah, get away! Don't get me, you ugly toads! Get away from my baby! Nice one, Rainbow. Thanks. Twilight, look out! Oh, oh dear. Oh. Get away from our kids! Get off of us. 
of those goblins. I could see that sugar cube. Look out. Ah. Oh, stay back. Ah. You wanna smash it? Ah. 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 you stop trying to attack Ponyville I'm the king now if you are my friend then you must come with me look you're my friend but attacking Ponyville will not make things better don't listen to him get him your majesty huh? Huh? how does he do that that spike has powers that's impossible. Yeah, everybody knows, but you don't. Well, we're the goblins. Ah, uh, hey! Ah, uh, stay back, or your twin is gonna get it. Spoon! Get off of me. What? Chase! I'm afraid you're gonna have to surrender, Spike. Don't listen to him. I give up, but... But leave the innocent ponies alone. Leave Ponyville and Canterlot. <laughs> oh well, I guess we're taking them all as prisoners. Lock them all up in the dungeon, but bring Spike to me. Wait, we're giving up? No, it can't end like that. <coughs> Touch me! Ah! Brand Jesse! <laughs> no, we can't give up. Oh, great. Hey, let me go! No! Oh, oh no. What? What is going on? They're taking all our friends. Who? The goblins. I gotta stop them. Tex, no, don't go out there! Oh no. Hey, don't touch my kid. Let go of me. <laughs> Sorry about this. You will join me, or you will die. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> 